Hello, hello, hello. My name is Dr. Jedida Eisler, and I am the host and founder of Vanguard STEM. And I am here on a very special day with a very special person. This is my mama. This is mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. See, now you know where I get it. Uh, my mom's name is Gwendolyn Eisler. And you are a registered dietitian. So anyone who has ever eaten with me can thank my mom for what happens when we're out to eat. So <laughs> I figured what we would do on Mother's Day is I would ask my mom some questions about um, your experience with me as a STEM loving black girl. Okay. Uh, so I have five questions. We're going to do five questions okay. for mom on Mother's Day. Are okay. you okay with that? I'm okay with it. Are you it. excited? Not too personal. Okay, not too personal. Okay. Um, when was the best? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ask you a personal question. All right, first question. Don't look. Okay. But you're not supposed to know what the questions are. First, first question. When did you realize that I was STEM inclined? Or by STEM, I mean, I mean, you know, but science, technology, engineering, and mathematics inclined. When did you realize that about me? When you were two months old no i'm two kidding. months I'm mom i'm kidding i'm kidding jedida showed signs of scientific inquiry when she was about six months old mom i will never forget that day and she already said i could say anything i want i um had left jedida sitting on the floor in the kitchen with her older sister who was about 19 months old. Shout out to Nasa. Nasa Lissette Eisler. Mommy, you can't put her whole name out here like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. N-L-I. Uh-huh. And Jedida was looking at the cabinet. We had a um, Cook Island and she was looking at it and I could see when I set her down that she was looking at the handles on the Cook Island and she was looking at the top of the Cook Island and she was looking at the handles and uh, our front door was about not even a hundred feet away I it was just two rooms so in the time that it took me to walk from the kitchen to the dining room to the living room open the door, check the mailbox, close the door, walk back through the kitchen, the living room, dining room to the kitchen. Jedida had figured out how to climb the handles of the cabinet and was sitting on the cooktop. Luckily it was off and she was motioning to her sister mm -hmm. at six months old to follow her. Come on up here. That was my first inclination that Jedida was a scientist <laughs> because she was already doing investigations and coming up with solutions. Nice. Oh, I didn't think you were gonna tell that story. It's the one that is most exemplary of you. Okay, all right. Second question. Maybe not when I was six months old because maybe that wasn't scary, but as we were coming along and you were, you know, trying to raise me and encourage me in my passions, uh, was it a scary realization that I wanted to do STEM? No, I was delighted. Yeah. Because I am scientifically inclined myself. True story. What's your background? I am a biology major uh -huh. and I have personally always had a great interest in science. And yes. so I was happy to see that. Mm -hmm. Um, and Jedida has always been a fearless explorer and she's always wanted to know why things happen. It wasn't uh, what is happening, it was why. Why, mommy? Why? Why? Yes, it was my favorite question. Was my favorite question. Um, so still let me, is. Still, still is my favorite still. question. That's the true story. Um, what's been most surprising to you about this STEM journey? Because I've taken you along every step of the way. I can't really say that there has been anything surprising. Mm -hmm. um, I knew you had it in you and I knew that you were uh, undaunted by anything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, probably that you didn't do it faster 
if I if I were to be surprised yeah. at anything, it was that you didn't do it faster. Yeah. But certainly that you pursued your dream with vigor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, there was no surprise in that. Okay. All right. I needed to go faster, mommy. I want going fast enough. No, you said what was most surprising <laughs> about kidding. your journey, and I <laughs> said that you didn't do it faster. Okay. Um, two more questions. You ready? Okay. Yes, as long as you're not personal. I got to think of a person I want to throw in here because you keep saying that. <laughs> um, let's see. No, I, I think I'll do one more, and I'm, I am going to try to think of one personal one. Okay. Uh, the question I have for you is, is there any advice that you have for moms of STEM-loving black girls or girls of color? Do you have advice for those moms um, who are raising girls that have interests like me? The one thing that I would say to any woman of color in raising her child is to assume that her questions about why are indications that she is observing the world and the things that are going on and to not look at that as uh, an annoyance but as a signal to you to provide her with those answers and challenge her to ask more whys. More whys. I can more. take you up on that. I can take you up on that. Oh, <laughs> don't I know it. <laughs> well, don't I know it. Mom, it's been a pleasure to do this little mini episode. Okay. I appreciate this. This is one of our um, impromptu Vanguard stems. Uh, so I'm down in Virginia visiting my mother. And so we figured we'd do a little quick, um, quick video to talk yes. to y'all about, you know, me and my mom and to wish her a happy Mother's Day. Thank you for everything you've done in my life to, to give me this far. I certainly would not have been able to do it without you. Um, I wouldn't have been able to figure it out. I wouldn't have been able to persist. I wouldn't have been able to do any of it without you. So thank you so much for being the best mother in the world. I'm sorry. I get that y'all are trying to do that, but my mom, honestly, best mom in the world. Hands down. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for being who you are. I love you. Love you too. You're the best. Love and you. I love her more. <laughs> And uh, if y'all have questions for me and my mom, let me know. You know where to find me on social media. I'm at Jedida Eisler, PhD everywhere. You can find my mom on social media too. She's at Gwen Eisler. So if you are interested in diet, dietetics yes. or nutrition or you want to eat better, you can, you can holler at her too. I would love that. <laughs> All right. Talk to y'all later. Have a happy Mother's Day and a good week. See you soon. Bye.